leaders, Patrick Jinx here, leadership and strategy coach and president of the Jinx Perspective. Our two most recent episodes have focused on emotional intelligence as one of the most critical aspects of leadership success. And today we wrap up this mini series with part three. In case you missed the first two parts, we've included a link to each of those in the video description below this video. And I highly encourage you to take a look at those first. Also, if you're not already a subscriber to our channel, make sure you click the subscribe button below this video and click the bell icon to allow notifications when we drop new episodes. As a quick recap of our first two parts, we introduced a framework for emotional intelligence in a two by two matrix that shows our emotional intelligence quotient, or our EIQ, as the level of our awareness and mastery of our own emotional behaviors and reactions, as well as awareness and mastery of those we interact with or our social environment. So what do we do about our emotional intelligence? Well, as an executive coach, I can tell you that the first thing we do is measure it. And if you've never had your emotional intelligence quotient assessed, I would recommend you start there. There are a number of online tools you can use, or you can have a certified coach conduct a simple assessment for you. It's a quick online assessment known as a psychometric. And if the user is 100% honest in their responses, it'll provide a pretty accurate and valuable overview of your strengths and weaknesses. The idea behind these assessments we do in coaching is to help us identify our blind spots in leadership. Remember in part one when we talked about the six people in the room. Second, engage an executive coach. It certainly doesn't have to be me, but find one, preferably one who is certified and one with whom there's a good conversation, chemistry and trust level and one with some good references. Now, of course, I can't speak for other coaches, though I know some amazing ones. But when I coach, we get honest about what the assessment tells us. Not judgmental, just practical. First, we focus on strengths. Make sure we are fully taking advantage of those strengths. Identifying opportunities to leverage those innate gifts in our leadership. Next, we look at areas where the assessment tells us there might be opportunity for improvement. And we identify where that might be showing up and what it might be causing that we might not be aware of. And finally, through a series of co-discovery sessions, we articulate, intentionalize, and exhibit new behaviors that'll make us more aware in those critical moments when our choices and how we respond to people fosters attitudes, mindsets, perceptions, and ultimately the behaviors of those we lead. You see, each of the four dimensions of emotional intelligence in the quadrant has a series of aspects that the assessment helps us home in on and address very specifically and uniquely. Coaching uniquely gives us that safe, neutral accountability partner who can help you see those opportunities more quickly and respond accordingly in the moment. And the research shows that people can actually improve their emotional intelligence. I came across some interesting research uh, out of Harvard last week. From line worker to CEO and every mid-level manager and senior leader in between, who do you think has the lowest emotional intelligence scores on average? By a pretty wide margin, it's the CEO. Something about that journey to the top actually seems to diminish our EIQ. Perhaps it's all the responsibilities and bigger picture vision we develop along the way. Whatever the reason, it isn't a good trend. Don't be blindsided by your own emotional intelligence. Get ahead of it. Strengthen it. Watch new levels of leadership start appearing when you do. That's the Jinx Perspective. As always, if you want to connect with us and explore how the Jinx Perspective can help you or your organization achieve greater clarity, simplicity, and alignment, schedule a free call with me at the link in the video description below, and let's talk it through. See you here next time.